Volvo, I need to sit there. Okay. Baby, come here. Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Ashley. And I'm Gordon. And this is Bobo. Uh, big seat hog. <laughs> uh, we are making a video with our other cat today. Bobo. I'm to. <laughs> She'll be in and out of the camera. I don't know. I'm just going to go on with making this video. So basically, as you can see by the title of the video, I'm going to be talking about how to deal with your cat's fur that may need some extra TLC, just normal taking care of her for her, his or her fur is just not good enough. And so when we got Bobo, her fur was very sticky uh, and it had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of dandruff in it. Yeah, it was, she was greasy and there was a bunch of uh, knots, like uh, mats in her fur. <coughs> she was not comfortable. And it was just overall like not very good. My parents, um, when they gave her to us, they said that they um, like they tried to brush her, but I guess because she had so many knots and her hair and her fur was so greasy, she just didn't like being brushed at the time because she wasn't really cleaning herself. And that's really important for your cat's overall like fur health, I guess, is that they have to be cleaning themselves. And if they're not, then you have a big problem. Yeah. So before we get into this video, please give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your post notifications so you know when we upload a video. Yeah, and... Let's get to it. Uh, the first thing we did... First thing we did was, I gave her a bath. I yeah. used this shampoo, my wall, no rinse, calming formula. This is just something I've had and it worked for Grey Grey. It did work for her in terms of getting the grease out of her fur. Not really the dandruff. I did buy this hairball relief shampoo. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know if it's good, but it also is no rinse foaming shampoo. Helps yeah. strengthen and cleanse this coat. Hydrates and conditions coat minimize breakage. So I thought the conditioning part was really important. If this didn't work for her, I was prepared to give her another bath with this. Now, do not wash your cats r regularly. It's a minimum of eight weeks yeah. in between baths. Yeah, you can really mess up the oil balance and everything in her fur. Unless you have a hairless cat, then the bathing t for that cat is totally different than any other cat with fur. Yeah, so this stuff, I know it says no rinse. We rinsed anyway. Yeah, because she's just going to go lick herself. And yeah. when we did bathe her, like Gordon's hands and my hands were like covered in fur. It, we had to constantly rinse off in the, in the sink. And I didn't want her getting hairballs, so we did rinse her anyways, and the water was so cloudy, and it was just gross. So that worked for the greasiness in her fur. Now, the dandruff, that was a trial and tribulation that I had tried to figure out. So we started brushing her after the bath. For cat with long fur, we used this top coat brush. This one has like nice knobbies on the end, so cats like like it. It's not hurting their skin. And then I use this undercoat brush to get the undercoat fur because Bobo actually has three types of fur on her body. She has hair on the top. And the soft fur that she usually has on the stomach, that's on her sides mixed with the fur. So there's like a transition area there. Then there obviously it's on her paws too. Yeah, if she comes in camera again, we'll show you her different types of fur. Yeah. Uh, the other thing about this brush, we really like it because you can actually unload it. You push the little button on the back there and it just pushes all the fur to the top. So anyway. So as well as uh, like the bath, it worked for the stickiness. Now I had to deal with the dandruff and brushing only really helps with shedding not dandruff because dandruff is caused by sensitive skin under the fur. Dry so the next thing I went to the pet store, I bought this soothing spray. This is like a fur treatment that you just spray on from head to tail, avoiding the face and you just massage it into the skin. Yeah. It really helps that she's a cat that really enjoys getting pats. So yeah, it makes it real easy to apply that. Then, at the same time, I also purchased these de-shedding wipes, de-shedding and hairball wipes. Both these in combination, I did about three or four treatments of this spray on her fur with 
using the wipes honestly say 99.9% .9 of dandruff. She still has a few little speckles here and there of dandruff. It's only like two. Yeah. And she's, uh, once they start, she started cleaning herself again in the middle of all this process. Yeah. So it's been really good. She's only had a few hairballs. Again, that's really good for a cat with that much fur. This stuff has been working. Yeah, I haven't had to give her another treatment in about <laughs> two and a half, three weeks. Maybe three and a half weeks. She's doing a good job of cleaning herself too. Once you get the cat started, she they generally just pick right back up. Would you want to clean yourself if you were that dirty? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Let me see if I can get her on camera. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm Hello. sorry. Oh, dear. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi, babe. So, this is our cat. Um. Oh, you're so sweet. Right on this strip back here, this is like hair. Really long, fine hair. With and almost then, no undercoat. And then her sides and her stomach they're have all fur. Un and they're all undercoat. Hey, babes. I know. <laughs> She's really not good with getting picked up. She's very squirmy. Also, Bobo says, thank you for watching this video. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notifications. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.